Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy and accessible for everyone. Today we're going to be doing this juicy green apple in color pencils. I'm using the Prismacolor Premier pencils today, but you can use whatever color pencils you have. You can use Polychromos or whatever other brand. Uh, you just need a good assortment of greens, some yellow, and some brown for the stem. Now before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below, I subscribed, and I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of you. It's important to start out with a good sketch. This is a fairly simple project for beginners, so it's a fairly simple sketch. But um, you wanna have a decent map of where you're gonna go with the piece. And then I just start going in with my apple green color. And I'm giving it a good coat of that apple green to start out with, because it's easier to blend other colors in when you have a nice little base layer going on. And I like to start with my lightest colors first and then gradually build up to my deeper shades as I go along. So I always like to start with a brighter color as my base layer. And the reason for this is I like to build up gradually. And color pencil works best when it's done in light layers and a ton of light layers. So we're just gonna keep going in and keep building on our base layer. I like to keep my highlights uh, out of all of that so that they can pop at the end of the drawing and not get too muddied up with a lot of colors putting down on top of it. So you'll see I leave my white areas white in the beginning and then we'll go over with some uh, lighter uh, cream colors and then blend everything together. So I really tried to keep it simple on this one for my beginners. So we're not going to use a ton of colors. We only have a couple of shades of green, some yellow, but I'll leave all those in the description below so you can check back and um, use the same colors or pick something close in whatever pencils you are using. There's not a ton of detail in this reference image, so it should be easy for you guys to follow along and just take it slow and take it little sections at a time and you'll be fine. It's not that important that you find the exact color green or the exact colors in your set. Um, you just wanna represent basically the values so you want to have your darks be dark enough your lights be light enough and everything in between so it's okay if you have a different set and different colors you could easily make this apple any other color as long as your values are in the right value range and you're using a full set of values not just all your midtones you want to have your darks be dark enough and keep your highlights um, light enough to give it a more realistic effect So color pencil is a really slow medium and it's best when it's layer upon layer. So you just have to take your time with it. So make sure that you put enough time in your schedule to be able to spend the time on the drawing and really put some work into it. So this drawing from start to finish took me about an hour and 15 minutes. I work a little faster than most of you probably do because I've been doing this for a really long time. But um, just map out the time to do it. And if you don't have the time, just sit down, put it away and go back to it tomorrow. Um, but you do have to really kind of work slowly and just keep building up your layers um, as you go. There's no speeding up this unless you're doing an underpainting, uh, which I'll go over in another video. You can do watercolor underpainting or you can do Copic marker. There are several ways to go about uh, mixing mediums, but this is just purely color pencil today to make it simple for all my beginners.
going over my highlights now with some white um, just to blend all those colors together so that it's not just like a an outline of a uh, highlight and I'm going in with some solvent here and you can see when you put the solvent down it just brightens up all the colors and it just melts everything together so you get a really smooth finish it gets rid of the graininess of the color pencil and the graininess of the paper and just kind of melts everything together um, just make sure that when you're doing this that you leave enough time for it to dry a little bit in between and don't use a lot of solvent a little bit goes a long way you could easily do this without solvent and you can just do a, a really burnish at the end but um, I like the way the solvent just kind of smooths everything out and makes it a, a lot brighter and, and beautiful and it and it does speed it up a little bit we were talking about speeding things up so it does speed it up a little bit because it does um, cover all the white of the paper So now at this stage, we're just going to be building on what we've got down already. We're going to be darkening up our shadows and just blending everything in. So we're increasing the amount of pressure on the pencil. So we're burnishing a little bit at this stage and blending all those colors together. And we're going to just um, enrich our highlights and our shadows and just refine and clean everything up. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in with some graphite because the graphite is a lot softer and you can get a softer shadow um, using a brush and graphite than you can with a color pencil. Uh, color pencil is waxy and you can't manipulate it as much for a nice soft shadow. So I just went ahead and put that in and I'm going to use my kneaded eraser to clean it up. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and please subscribe to my channel smash that like button and leave me a comment i really enjoy hearing from each and every one of you and i do get back to you all so thank you for joining me and happy art